is going on, and crew? My name is Andrew. Welcome back to a brand new exciting video. As you guys might know, if you've watched my channel for really any amount of time, I use After Effects for pretty much all of my tutorials. The reason I use After Effects for all of my tutorials is because I use After Effects for all of my videos. But every time I upload a video, I mean every time I upload a video, I get comments like this, or this, or this, or this, and people always just want to see tutorials inside of Premiere Pro. A few months back, I did a tutorial in After Effects about how to do the separated glitch effect. Well, today we're redoing that tutorial inside of Premiere Pro 100%. And without further ado, let's hop into Premiere Pro and start talking about this effect. All right guys, so I'm inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and I've got this two second clip of me trying to look cool and the first thing that we need to do is mask out my body. Now I want to hit G on my keyboard to bring up the pen tool like After Effects, but in Premiere you select the clip and then you go over to Opacity and you click this little pen tool. Now the nice thing about the separated glitch effect is you really don't have to be that accurate. You can really do this pretty much as sloppily as you want, you really just have to have a rough area around your body. All right, so now we've got this little mask. We're gonna go over to the keyframes and we're gonna keyframe the mask path. Now move to the end of the clip, select the mask one again, because that's gonna bring it back up. Now we can just readjust it something like that and you know what i think that's going to do the trick now we're going to go over to our effects panel and we're going to type in warp and the type of distortion we're going to use is the wave warp so just drag that over on top of your clip all right so we got a few different options here right now it's in sign and honestly this looks kind of cool you could do some cool effects like this you can really kind of mess around with it a lot you could kind of warp your body like that if you wanted to you could do some cool stuff with water and stuff like that but what we're going to do is go over to the wave type change it from sign to square Square, and that's gonna give us this cool square effect and in the direction you can do whatever direction you want my friend But I'm gonna be using a horizontal direction. So it's gonna be 180 degrees Now what I'm gonna do is sort of just cut up this clip in a few different spots Just try to choose them randomly and then I'm going to sort of just delete different parts of it Something like that. So now we just have this glitching on just a few parts of the video. I think it would look kind of weird if it was just constant glitching over your body, but you could do that. And now we're just going to go to this first clip and we're going to change around a few of these settings. So the two settings we're going to be messing around with is this wave width and the phase. Now essentially what the phase does is just change the position of the warp. So it just moves them around and that's going to be really important for us. What we're going to do is keyframe phase and we're going to keyframe wave width. Then we're gonna go down to our chest to keyboard and we're gonna move over two keyframes, two or three. Then we're gonna keyframe both of those again. Just click that little button there to add a keyframe. And then we're gonna move over one and we're just gonna change the width, something like that. And we'll change the phase. Add a couple more keyframes, move over again, Let's change the width again, change the phase, move over a few, keyframe again, move over, change the width. Let's change it down to here, change the phase. All right, and then you can just kind of keep going through and doing stuff like that. I only did a few keyframes because I kind of like how you have this slowly going down effect right there. So I'm not gonna mess around with that. And then we can move on to the next clip. And here we're gonna do a sort of different type of glitch. We're gonna go over to the wave speed and we're gonna just pick that up a bunch and we're gonna make the wave width a bit bigger, something like that. And then we're just gonna cut this thing up, just chop into a bunch of pieces and then just start deleting in between the cuts. So now you've got this cool sort of different type of glitch effect on the second one. So that's just sort of the base idea. It's just a mixture of keyframing and chopping up and messing around with the width and the evolution and the phase of it and everything like that. I ran through that pretty quickly, but I think you guys get the idea. This is your place to experiment, to really do your own thing. There's no formula for glitching. It's supposed to be random. It's supposed to be weird. So just mess around with it and see what you like. So that could be it. That could be all you do, to be totally honest. But what we're going to do real quick is just one more effect, which is add a little bit of RG separation now the way we're gonna do this is actually just nest all this together so we'll select all the clips go up to nest we'll name this glitch cool and then we're gonna add an effect called arithmetic just drag that and drop it down onto your clip onto your nest I'm gonna copy this layer and paste it right above and then paste it one more time so we have three different layers three different versions of it now on the bottom one select it and change the operator to max and boost up the red value to 255 on the second one also change the operator to max and boost up the green to 255 and on the third one change the operator to max and boost up the blue value to 255. Now in all three layers go up to the opacity and change the blend mode from normal 
to linear dodge or add. And now the clip looks normal again, and we're just gonna add a little bit of RGB separation. So just to choose one of the random layers, I'm gonna choose the bottom one because that's the red layer. And I'm gonna uncheck uniform scale, and I'm just gonna scale up the width. And there you go, now you guys can see we've got this cool RGB split separation going on. You can do this for all of the different layers. So if we go up to the green layer, if we scale it up, you can see we've got this cool purple and yellow. Personally, I like the red and blue, so that's what I'm gonna stick with. And there you guys go, that sort of just completes the entire look of the effect. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick color grade real quick. All right, so there you guys have it. That's how to do the separated glitch effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. <sighs> looks so cool man i love this effect man i love it and there you have it that is how to do this effect inside of premiere pro anyways guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did i'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you guys would like to see more tutorials directly inside of premiere pro i always strive to make videos that you guys actually enjoy so if you'd enjoy more tutorials inside of premiere pro let me know my dudes and we'll see what we can do about that be sure to follow me on instagram if you guys haven't already at andrew jmes thank you guys for watching this video be sure to get outside film a video make a difference and I'll catch you guys on Friday. See you guys then. Peace.